Digitization is impacting the strategy of not only domestic third-party logistics providers like ourselves and international freight forwarders in ways where we treat that as competition, but I don't, I don't see it really as a threat. I mean, it's an opportunity for us to learn what uh, these great companies are introducing in terms of new technology, bring that into our business and make that a part of the evolution of our business. Um, you know, we, we need to be more productive. We need to improve our processes. We're always looking for an opportunity to do that. Technology is an easy way to, to simplify our business. Well, we're third, third party logistics provider, so the end customer is everything for us. Um, and when we talk about innovation, which is kind of the theme of the conference this year, um, it's all about the customer and the customer providing input. On the panel I spoke on earlier, um, I talked about a quote from Henry Ford. Well, it was attributed to Henry Ford. He didn't actually ever say it. Um, but he said, if I asked my customers what they wanted, they would tell me they want faster horses. Um, and it implies that you can make uh, strategic decisions and a vision for your company without the input of customers. We don't believe that. This business still requires a really strong relationship with your customer. It's important for us to then involve them in our innovation strategy, ask them where we need to get better, and ask them in a variety of ways. I can be anything from just informal feedback when I go out and meet with our customers. It could be customer surveys. It could be uh, customer summits and uh, uh, quarterly business reviews. We believe that the customer is what it's all about in our business. Um, you know, technology helps drive uh, innovation, but it's not the single path to innovation. Yeah, I mean, I think it's really about execution on our business. Um, I'm not concerned about the technology. We're making investments in technology every day. We believe in that. Um, but it's really about execution. That's what the customers are hiring you to do. We emphasize the relationship with the customer, but in the end, um, if you don't execute on the plan, you don't deliver and produce the results that you committed to, um, they're going to be looking at other providers. So I emphasize that with my team, spent a great deal of time talking about the quality of our service. Like everyone, probably top of the list would be blockchain. Um, it's hard to uh, estimate what the impact of blockchain will be in our business. Um, we're part of beta now as well. Um, so we're uh, participating in the standards for blockchain. I think there's uh, opportunities in our inter international business with improving the exchange of documents. It's still pretty document intensive. There's a lot of hands and exchanges to be able to do that in a digitized manner. Um, could certainly simplify our business. Other areas, we have our own vehicles, so we have uh, a couple hundred trucks and trailers. Um, asset tracking um, is important. And then fraud detection, you know, there's other areas of just improved uh, prevention of cybersecurity threats. Um, I think those are all areas that are interesting and we're watching very closely. I think we're all in that business. I mean, I think if you look at all of the third-party logistics providers, they say they'll te they're technology-led or technology-driven. Um, to me, it's kind of table stakes. That's what you've got to have. Customers expect visibility to their activities. They expect you to be able to provide detailed business intelligence about um, the businesses and solutions that you've provided for them. So I think it's what gets you to the table in the conversation with the customer. Um, and again, those that are strictly playing on technology, there's a place for all of us. It's a highly fra fragmented business. Um, there's lots of opportunities for us to persist, um, you know, work with customers transactionally, within a contract, or otherwise. <laughs>